Well, here we have the parting of both ways. To the left is the tunnel, to the right is the tunnel field. The tunnel field was very popular with families, or especially on Sundays, um, including myself, where we used to go along for the day, take a picnic and stay there all day till the evening, as long as the weather was like this. We used to build ponds, swings, etc, etc. Good day all round. But to the left is the tunnel. Uh, we're going to wander up there now to show you exactly what is left of the tunnel portal at this very moment in time. Here, in one of the babbling brooks in Blindcombe, is a retaining wall, just a reminder of the former glory of the mining era. And just here you can see the original outfall from the tunnel. But when the rivers were diverted in 1979, uh, the old drain was um, coupled to the new drainage system, which I'll show you in a minute. So here's the outflow of the Ronda Tunnel these days. The old outlet was coupled with the new uh, drainage system that was put in place in 1979. You can just see the water coming there, crystal clear. And it always, it's always that way. It's never muddy or dirty. I often find myself coming to Blindcombe, reminiscing of when I was a boy. It all comes flooding back. And now it's turned into the most beautiful area you could ever imagine. Soon this will be a picturesque place for many, many people to enjoy. Wonderful place. Standing here, it's hard to believe that there was a two-track railway coming from Blindronda and Treherbert Station. Now, of course, all overgrown. Trees, forestry um, have grown in quite considerable um, amounts. And where the development of the new houses in Blindcombe is, there's one huge mound of earth just sitting there waiting for further developments. I used to walk up here nearly every day towards the tunnel and now as again it's unrecognizable but it's all in the mind's eye you can imagine uh, when you was 11 12 what it was like and you can relive every moment nobody can take your memories from you they certainly can't take mine away from me here we are at the imposing Blindcombe mountain with the three trees on top Directly below these three trees is the portal of the Ronda Tunnel. It's important to point out that on the gate in front of us you will see signs saying private property keep out. The society purchased these uh, signs for Mr Levi Lyle as he is having a lot of problems with trespassers uh, into the field. If you do come up to Blindcombe and actually I want to take a look at the um, portal, well this is all you can see. Um, there is a concrete slab which I'll show you in a moment and that's all there is to it. So please, if you do come up to look at this uh, where the portal was, please don't go beyond the signs. It's vital for the project.
So here we are. This is all you can see of the Blindcombe portal. 42 feet down that hatch is the portal of the Rhondda Tunnel in Blindcombe. Then 3,443 yards in that direction is the other portal of Blindgwynvy. So if you do come up to see the tunnel, uh, this is what you would, would see. So please don't come through the gates that says keep out. It's important for us and the whole project. Uh, the only thing you can see now um, that is ventilating uh, this side of the tunnel is a tiny vent there which in any case would let out any gases if there were any gases inside which we have never detected in all the times we have been down there. So there you go, there you have it, the Blindcombe portal. So here we are in the beautiful village of Blindcombe. This is where the journey ends uh, of the Rhondda Tunnel, this end. So there's a few little things I'd like to show you in the Rhondda Valley before we go over to the Blindgwynby end and the Blindgwynby portal. So stay tuned and I'll see you next time.